Hi guys, I'm happy that uh, you can join me on this video tonight. Tonight I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for, for a little while now. I've um, received a channeling message from Ashanti about this very subject just a while ago on the subject of transition and placing yourself. I think it's very, very important message for this time, this time of COVID. I think a lot of people had the time to rethink their lives, they were forced to sit at home and actually start to reassess and uh, <clears throat> think about, am I really in the right place? Speaking geographically, inwardly, mentally, physically, emotionally? Am I in the right place in you know, those areas? Because now you had time to sit and actually quiet the mind a little bit. You, you're not going off to work. You're not busy, 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 little bee. Now you get time to sit and start listening to your heart to your inner being. What is the desires of your soul, your heart? What is it that it wants? Because there's a, there's a restlessness, not a, a, a shouting restlessness, shall I call it that way, but a deep, it's just there, but you feel I am not in balance. I what is going on? So you have the time, or you had the time, to say, so COVID had a good effect. There's a blessing in it, where people could slow down, and they could start listening to their inner hearts and their souls, to hear and to understand what they really want in life. Am I still in the right job? Am I, is this my right place? Am I still in the right city? Is that my place? Do I need to move to the outside of the city, to the countryside? Do I need to go and study further, mentally improving myself, changing my position, placing myself? Am I disturbed inside all the time? Is there issues in my life that is burning, burning issues that are drawing me off into a direction which I don't want to go, that is not my place? Do I need to solve those situations? How do I solve them? All those issues, spiritually, am I fulfilled? Am I feeling I'm, I'm on the right track? Or is it a deep restlessness and uneasiness inside. All this, I think, happened in COVID that people really had to sit and they had time. They literally had a bit of time to reassess and to rethink, which is very, very important. I feel we need to make space, even when COVID isn't there or the issue is not so prevalent, that we make time every month to sit and listen to our heart. There was another post or a message from Ashanti about uh, the three days where I said to you, if you had three days left in your life, you've got three days. The doctor said to you, you're going to die and leave this earth in three days. What would be important to you? What would be important to you? Really think about that. Is it your car, your house, your bank account, 
your diplomas, your university degrees, your fashionable clothes, your uh, aeroplane, your whatever, your yacht. Is that important in those three days? I don't think so. I don't think so. Then you realize, where have I placed myself? I've placed myself right in the middle of a mind field. Because the mind field, the prevalent mind field of the world, tells you those things are important. Your money, your house, your car, your yacht, your airplane, your fashion, your all those things are extremely important. Because you are now going to compete with Johnny next door to you. But is it important? Is that the right place that you need to be? Maybe you need a small little house, a cottage in the middle of nowhere, where you live totally off the grid. And you find your space, you find your time to write your poems, you find your time to write your book, you find your time to create art or create a cottage industry where you can serve people that way and make an income that way. I've been talking about, uh, there was a channeled message from Ashanti about awakened business, where awakened businesses will not be in this dog eat dog and uh, survival of the fittest type of mind field, but it will be of service, of connecting, of oneness like in a state of Shah, as the Radiant Ones explained through Ashanti. So I think this is a time to really take this privilege of this time for yourself to reassess, am I in my right place? Which is very, very important. You could never be totally fulfilled. If you're not fulfilling your soul's purpose and when you're not in your right place, you will know physically, mentally, spiritually, health-wise, when you are in your right place. There will be a flow. There will be peace and harmony. Will you still encounter minefields? Yes, of course. Will you still encounter the problems and the issues? Yes, of course. But you're in your right place. You will not be drawn off into a, another minefield this side or another minefield that side. You will stay your course. You will stay because you have found your lifeline. You have found your place. So, that's my message for tonight. I hope you will take the time, I hope I will take the time, to really think, are you in your right place? Am I in my right place? Is it a deep restlessness or a deep fulfillment, fulfilling feeling? because I have found my place. Thank you for listening. I hope this video has some value to you. Thank you.